Today, we're going to talk about why men abuse women. Domestic violence and abuse stem from a desire to gain and maintain power and control over an intimate partner. Abusive people believe they have the right to control and restrict their partners, and they may enjoy the feeling that exerting power gives them. They often believe that their own feelings and needs should be the priority in their relationship. So they use abusive tactics to dismantle equality and make their partners feel less valuable and deserving of respect in the relationship. No matter why it happens, abuse is not okay and is never justified. Abuse is a learned behavior. Sometimes people see it in their own family. Other times they learn it from friends or popular culture. However, abuse is a choice and it's not one that anyone has to make. Many people who experience or witness abuse growing up decide not to use these negative and hurtful ways of behaving in their own relationships. While outside forces such as drugs or alcohol, addiction can sometimes escalate abuse, it's most important to recognize that these issues do not cause abuse. Anyone can be abusive and anyone can be the victim of abuse. It happens regardless of gender, age, sexual orientation, race, or economic background. Being abused can make you, make you feel confused, angry, afraid, or trapped. All of these emotions are normal responses to abuse. You might also blame yourself for what is happening, but no matter what others might say, you are never responsible for your partner's abusive actions. Being abusive is a choice. It's a strategic behavior the abusive person uses to create their desired power dynamic, regardless of the circumstances of the relationship or the past of either partner, no one ever deserves to be abused. In the following video, why abuse takes place is discussed. There are many different reasons why someone might be an abuser. A lot of the times going back to their family structure. If there was domestic violence in the home, if there was child abuse in the home, that is how they see feelings, anger being expressed through physical violence, through emotional violence, through language, through um, psychological abuse. It's how they have power and control over someone. A lot of the times if animals are involved, animal abuse is a very early sign of abusive behaviors, abusive tendencies. A lot of times, especially um, as we socialize our children, gender socialization, what it is to be a man, what it is to be a woman, those roles can come into play with abusive situations. Men are not supposed to cry and be emotional and show their feelings according to gender socialization. Women are supposed to be the ones who are the quiet, demure, in the kitchen, that's how we socialize our children. So oftentimes men do not know how to talk about their emotions, show that they're sad, that they're angry, that they're frustrated. So they take it out in a different manner. Oftentimes when they lose control in one aspect of their lives, they take control in another way. So many times if they lose a job or if something doesn't go right, there's a high stress level, then they want to regain that power and control, and oftentimes it's by the person that they love the most. Learning how to express emotions in a safe, free way is a very important factor in stopping abuse. In my youth, when I was younger with my stepfather, um, part of the emotional abuse that he you know, enacted upon me was telling me that I wouldn't be loved in the future, I would never have a girlfriend or a wife, that nobody cared about me. And I think 
once I did have a wife, once I did have somebody that cared about me, I was so afraid of losing it that that kind of fed into you know the abusive cycle. In in the household where I was brought up in, in my home, in my culture, uh, you're taught to be in control. You're in control of your house at all times, whenever you're there, and especially when you're not there. So there's a level of fear that you put into your home, knowing that even though I'm not here, it's still better be in control. So what you want done better get done, and knowing that by that control, everybody conforms and moves to the way you want them to do. I was severely unable to express myself. I had no way to really share with her what I felt, what I thought, how I meant to say things. And I think that was a great part of my frustration in, in what caused for me uh, lashing out, whether it be by increasing my voice, yelling, saying negative things, or physically interacting with her in a bad way. Um, those things all came from my inability to communicate. I, I put up a, a wall anger or aggressiveness, assertiveness, uh, I just block it out, block it out. I wouldn't let them know that I was actually feeling something. So the easiest, easiest thing to put out there is always anger, it's anger. Because when you put anger out there and a person's gonna be like, oh no, no, it's, it's, okay, okay, they'll, they'll look away, they, you deflect them. You totally, with anger, it's just it's such a powerful deflection tool when you don't want people to see what's inside. And if you don't have nothing to hide, it doesn't matter. But if you're hiding something, and what one tends to hide is 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 sorrow or shame. You know, you're shameful for things. You know, there, there's things that happen to you when you're younger that you're ashamed of. And you remember them, and you think maybe if that person, that partner, or someone happens to actually touch it, and they hit that so-called nerve, if you put that anger wall up there, man, it, it's not going anywhere. They're not coming in. I learned when I went to classes that I had other options, other ways to share things. And you know, the nice thing for me now, for my own sake, as well as for the relationship I have with my current girlfriend, is I've learned a lot of ways to express what I want to express, but also to understand that my way is not the only way, that the partner in my relationship can have a point of view, a perspective, a feeling, an opinion, and it's valid just like it is without uh, being right or wrong. And I had to have to respect that. And I think that's allowed me to be in a much better place in my life. There's been times, numbers of times since I've been back home and going to classes that I, I'll tell my partner, you know what? I really don't like when you tell me this. I really don't like when you act like this. It makes me, it hurts me. I feel embarrassed. I feel, I'll let that person know this is the feeling that I have. Now, if we're going to work this out and we're going to be in a partnership, then you have to have an understanding as well as I do of you that we both were emotional creatures and we feel. If you need help in making a serious change, the education and prevention program at Life Skills Academy can help. Go to lindamcqueen.org. Once you are there, the page will open up to Life Skills Academy. Please take advantage of our forums, chats, group meetings, webinars, and hangouts. If you have any questions, please email us. A link to the website and email address will be provided below. A certificate of completion will be issued upon completion of courses taken with Life Skills Academy. Life Skills Academy provides a platform for domestic violence survivors as well as abusers to share stories, heal wounds, and find their way back to themselves. Create your own group in the forum today. Go to lindamcqueen.org. The page will open up to Life Skills Academy. Please leave your comments and subscribe. Remember to like and share. And if any of you can donate to this channel, please do. 
go to lindamcqueen.org to make your donation. Thank you.